India being a developing country cannot afford to do away with their caste. As of now, we want uh, the government to take stringent steps in reducing the GST on battery. They tell you there are 3,000 cycles warranty. 3,000 cycles means at least a period of 10 years. And there is no guarantee the next year that guy will be there or not. I'm here at the Hyderabad e-motor show 2023 uh, and we're at uh, we, we're here with uh, founder of Hawk EV uh, Dr. Anupam Deb. Uh, welcome to the show Anupam. So firstly let's start with you come from a Fauzi background yeah, right? Fauzi background and I am doing a lot of work for the defense sir. Perfect perfect. Let's start by understanding what Hawk EV is all about. It started with a garage project where we wanted to do a car for ourselves and then when this car came up we all of the blue we took it for an expo and there we got the best technology award where Hyundai was there a lot of big wigs are there then we realized that this has a potential to be a startup so we pumped in into this company today we stand with the order book of around 3000 cars in a span of two years and then we realized that this is the right thing what we are doing because with the new government policy or scrapping policy of the government, India being a developing country cannot afford to do away with their cars. Half of the middle class society will be left with no cars. So the only way is to reuse the resources what we have. So we brought it up as a commercial uh, product. Now today we stand to do a retrofit of cars and these cars will get 10 years of more life uh, after they are retrofitted. So for the uh, uh, viewers out there, basically what Hawk EV does is takes off your IC engine yeah, and uh, we do away with the IC engine, we scrap it out, we put the motors and the other electric equipment. The car is as good as that it was uh, with uh, the IC engine after retrofitment and we do the RTO paperwork also for the, the conversion is done on papers also for the customer. One of the challenge for retrofitting industry or the uh, in business is, you know, all the components, majority of them comes from, you know, you have to import them. So could you talk about that a bit as to what kind of challenge is it and what do you think should happen going forward to make this business, you know, uh, sure. feasible? See, there is a big challenge if you are getting the EV parts from China. They are, there are resentments from the government, there are resentments from the public also. For me, I am fortunate, I don't use any Chinese part. My motor comes from South Korea, my uh, controller comes from USA, my BMS comes from uh, Italy and uh, batteries I make myself. Pretty much covered all the three key components that goes into any yes. retrofit. Yes. That's all you need in a retrofit, you don't need anything much. What should happen going forward? Uh, we are at this EV show, right? And we see many Indian companies doing that make in India, you know, uh, so Atma Nirbhar, you know, all of that. Do you think Indian companies will be ready to, you know, provide you all the other things that you look uh, right now impo uh, importing? As of now, we want uh, the government to take stringent steps in reducing the GST on battery because battery being the main component and the costliest component of a retrofit or even a new car. The rates of retrofit or uh, the new cars are more as compared because of the batteries. Now, government can help us by reducing or making the batteries tax-free, at least for the EV sector. 18% of difference will come. 20 At certain places, it is 28%. Certain places, 18% of GST is there. So, if you cut down that 18% GST or make it tax-free, it will be a great help to this industry. Now, there are you know the leaders in battery manufacturing, like the Amar Raja of the world, Excite of the world. Sir, rather it is fortunate for us that now big wigs are coming into this uh, battery manufacturing. So, we will get stabilized batteries. That's what my question was. Yes. Will this help your industry? It will definitely help the industry because uh, now the battery manufacturers are small-scale man battery manufacturers. So, they do compromise somehow or the other. But when the big wigs will come in, we'll get batteries which will be of quality. As you rightly pointed out that when the big wigs come in, it will create, you know, it will give you cost advantage, it will make the stability better, better technology and they being, uh, you know, with deeper pockets. The warranties will be better looked on, Pan sir. See, we are main bothered about the warranties. Batteries, everybody gives you. But how about the... They tell you there are 3000 cycles warranty. 
three thousand cycles means at least a period of ten years, and there is no guarantee the next year that guy will be there or not. So that is one major challenge, and it is a major challenge for me as a retrofitter because the battery guy is not giving the guarantee. I am giving the warranties. So if whoever supplied me the the major reason for me to get into manufacturing of battery was this that I was scared whether the OEM will sustain for two years or not. He's giving me a battery for ten years, but whether he himself sustains for two years or not, and I cannot go back on my words or my warranties to a customer. So that was the reason why we started our own battery manufacturing setup. Now coming back to you know uh, the retrofit business itself, uh, how much of is finding skilled workforce who can work with you in your business is a challenge it is a difficulty as of now sir so because uh, you don't need floor uh, floor shop people here you need engineers and you need engineer you more of electrical basic and you get engineers but generally they don't have, don't have a know how they don't have the experience so getting trained engineers is a difficulty at this point of time because the scooter market has grown very well the ev scooter and three wheeler market has i i would say grown out of uh, proportion will it help for companies like yours and the ev sector in general if the course curriculum within electrical engineering was to have a correction i i think msme is doing a good job sir they are training people specially for uh, the ev vehicles i mean the electric vehicles i have seen quite a few seminars conducted by the msme where they only train people to work on electric vehicles so that is a good initiative from the government part and i am sure that a uh, lot of technical institutes will open now like if you just go back uh, 10 years back there were very few mobile repairing shops now today if you go out and see you every nook and corner you see a mobile repair shop so that is because the colleges uh, uh, introduced courses into mobile repair the technical itis and all so it is soon going to happen that all itis will have a course or uh, a stream in electric vehicles hawk uh, ev you are based on bangalore that's where you have a uh, you know retrofitting facility uh, are you looking at expanding into other cities like the hyderabad yes we have two modules where we are uh, working on one is coco uh, where a company owns and company operates a facility then uh, another uh, option what we have is uh, franchise owned but company operated i don't want to dilute the uh, uh, quality what we have as of now by giving it to a third party where he puts in his own systems in place so so you are able to assure the or the control the quality part of it is it absolutely that so the franchise just gives you infrastructure and then you run the show yes and we share the profits with the franchise uh so what's the plan like going forward how many uh, uh, company owned and how many franchise owned are you looking across india and do you have what are the next plans are you, have you identified some cities that you would be starting very soon sir in delhi we have taken over around 5 uh, outlets which were doing a service uh, for the general cars so one company has uh, shifted out of delhi so we have picked up five branches of theirs which will be all uh, company owned and company operated we are planning the five major cities uh, as of now like uh, bombay chennai calcutta pune and uh, hyderabad and all of these will be company owned yes in the first phase we will have all the, all of them company owned and you already have a huge backlog you know uh, of yeah, orders backlog of orders from the army and uh, navy maybe other government organizations will follow like the police yes, and uh, uh, police we are doing buses which are uh, toilet buses restrooms for the police which is again a unique thing mp forest department we have a order getting contemplated for around 1200 gypsies uh, and what's the base cost for a conversion so 675 is my base cost for a range of 300 kilometers i would i would ask two questions here and club them together one is the maintenance itself for a car like yours retrofitted cars what is the maintenance and second is uh, if that be the formula where if you do 100 kilometers a day and then you break even happens in 9 months uh, won't this be a good option for taxi services it is and I'm, we are doing a lot of taxi services like mun- municipal uh, corporation of mathiran 
in Maharashtra, they want to do 300 cars and they don't want to allow any uh, IC engine cars into Mathiran. So only those, only electric vehicles will go inside that municipal corporation. So that's a nice uh, initiative. Then all these um, newly started uh, layouts, which are, uh, uh, I mean, environment friendly, they are also not taking uh, IC engines inside their uh, locality. They have a parking separately. So do you think in future, as, uh, ever, a situation will come where retrofit companies like yours could go up to manufacturers and say, I just need your shell, you know, and I, without the IC engine, and I would do the retrofitting. Definitely, because see, sir, what has happened now, I have uh, got a call from the tourism department of Karnataka. They wanted to buy 1,000 cars, and uh, when they approached the OEM manufacturers, they showed their inability to give the cars on time. So these, these guys came to us and they said, do you, can you do it? Now we, our talks are on with Tata's that if they can give us a shell. So you get a brand new car with an EV and then that's it? But it really doesn't matter. We refurbish cars as, as good as brand new. I mean, when we get an old car, if you see the video of a gypsy which we have done for uh, the Southern Command, it's a 23 years old gypsy. So you can see how we have retrofitted it and how we have refurbished it. So it's as good as new. Thank you, Anam. Thank you very much for being on our show. And uh, we wish you all the very best. Thank you.